Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing hands down my most requested video from you guys ever. I know it took me a really long time, but for today's video, I am going to be ranking my Vizzy Art palettes from my least to my most favorite. If you don't know, I do have a small series here on my channel where I rank palettes from brands. My series originally started from Kelsey Brianna J. She was the first person that I saw ever to do a rankings video and she inspired me to do it and you guys loved it so I created a whole series. So definitely check out Kelsey Brianna J's ranking videos as well because I mean she's the originator so <laughs> I will link her videos down below for you guys. I have a lot of Vizzy art palettes and I feel like I have a pretty good insight into the brand and the shadows. I'm going over all of them for you guys and I'm telling you what's the best and what's not the best. So if you want to hear my rankings then just keep watching. So I've been collecting Vizzy Art for the past couple of years. I absolutely love their eyeshadows and that is why this video stressed me out. Even though they're like my least favorite, I, I still really like them. I really feel like every time I film these kinds of videos, if I film them on a different day, the rankings would be different. But this is just how I'm kind of feeling today. The reason I have finally buckled down and decided to film this video is because right now Muse Beauty Pro is having a sale and it's a pretty great Great time to pick up Vizzy Art palettes. I promised in my Muse Beauty Pro sale video I would get this video up during the sale so that you can make your purchases because honestly this is the best time to pick up Vizzy Art palettes. The sale ends on December 27th so you do have some time to decide what you want. The sales are the best I've seen ever for what you can pick up from Vizzy Art. You get $100 off on some deals if you want the big grande palette. Now my personal favorite deal is that you can get two of the 12 pan palettes as well as two Eason brushes for just $128. The 12 pans originally go for $80 each, so $128 for two palettes and two amazing brushes. That's the deal I definitely recommend the most, but there's so many deals. I'll put the link down below for you to check those out, but that is the reason why I'm filming this video at the time that I am to help you guys, so I did want to mention that beforehand. Let's get into it. The hardest part of about ranking Busy Art palettes is that since they are for pros, it's not like a normal rankings video where you can do a whole look with each of the palettes so it's easier to rank them. With Busy Art, it's a lot of having to use more than one at a time because with most of them, they are just one finish because as a pro, that is what you need. You don't want shimmers or glitters getting into your matte shade because you might not want the light to hit that if you're on camera or something. So most of the time, I am using the Vizzy Art palettes in conjunction with each other. Honestly, an all matte palette that I love is great, but it may not be as exciting to me because I love shimmers or an all shimmer palette is great, but I really can't create a whole look with it. So that's something I had to keep in mind while ranking these but I will give you my explanations of each as I go so I know I just took forever to get into it this but I own 21 Viseart eyeshadow palettes and we're gonna start off at number 21 my least favorite and I do like this one but this one I do have to say did impress me the least this is the rose edit palette and I love these little guys because they're a really good deal to try the Viseart formula you get a lot of shades and they aren't $80 I absolutely love the tones of this one but pigmentation wise and formulation wise it just isn't my favorite. I've tried other palettes from Vizzy Art where I felt like the formulas were just a bit creamier, a bit richer and this one just didn't do it for me. Now I do love it and I actually do bring this on vacation to me because the colors are great. I don't find myself reaching for it too often and I do remember when I picked this up I did like it but there were things about it that kind of disappointed me. Coming in at number 20 is the Editorial Brights palette. Now I don't have anything too bad to say about this palette. I literally just don't really use it because look at these colors. Now I picked this palette up just to use in case I needed really bright colors like this. So if you're on the market and you need a nice palette that you can throw in that will add colors to your looks and this is all you need, this is fantastic. I think the 
formulation in here is very nice. Some of the shadows are a bit more powdery than I would prefer, but that's just the name of the game when it comes to colors like this. They're just harder to formulate. So I do think this is a really good palette to have if you need it or just something if you're an all neutral wearer but you want a little bit of color to have in your collection just in case this is a good one to go for but obviously for me it just doesn't get used that much number 20 we have the bridal satin now this one is absolutely beautiful and to be honest i mainly bought this to keep in my kit because i thought these would be great lid colors and just with all the other stuff in my kit i don't find myself reaching for this as much as i thought i would I have one that is one of my favorites that I will talk about towards the end of the video, but I do really like it. The colors here are pretty. I don't think this represents the Vizzy Art shimmer formula the best that it could. I just have some shimmer formulas from Vizzy Art that are better. This one is a little bit more sheer and subtle, which is not a bad thing because this palette is the bridal satin palette and that is what this is perfect for, bridal stuff, but I don't know. I just have stuff that I like to use on my brides more. This is still really pretty. It just doesn't get used a ton by me. I'm going to pack that in my kit and I'm going to use it next time. And to be honest, when I use this on my brides, I don't find myself really using this half of the palette anyways. I typically just use these six. If these colors speak to you though and you like a soft eye with those tones, very nice. The next one that we have is number 18 and I feel like this isn't right but I put it here. This is the Warm Edits palette. Again, I really like this one. This one formulation wise I liked better than Rosé. I felt it was more pigmented but I'm just not super into warm tones. Like this palette here is really super warm. I know I'm wearing warm tones on my eye right now, but I just don't find myself reaching for warm tones a ton in my everyday life. I really do like the colors in here and I really enjoy the formulation. Again, I love the whole concept behind the edits palette. This one I love for travel, but in the grand scheme of all the other palettes, this is just where it happens to land, but it is super good. I think it fits the needs of a lot of different people. Number 17, this one ranked honestly a little bit higher than I had originally anticipated because I don't reach for this a ton, but I love how versatile this palette is. This is the Koi palette. And this one has a very interesting, almost kind of watercolor shades. Now I would recommend if you are interested in this palette to check out my video using the Koi palette because I really show you some neat techniques to get the most out of this palette. So at first, if I hadn't used this as much as I had, this definitely probably would have ranked 21. But once I really started playing with the palette and seeing how versatile it could be, it really raised it up on the list. This palette needs to be paired with other palettes and other shades. I think this palette works best to layer. It just really transforms other shadows that you already have. So that's why I really love this one. You can get a lot more than you expect from this palette. So I definitely think this is a neat one to have. It's a very unique palette formulation and concept wise. Number 16. It hurts me to put this pretty low on the list, but it is what it is. This is the newest palette from Busy Art. This is the Grande Pro Volume 3. Now, it's not that I don't like this, it's just that I don't really <laughs> use it. I'm such a neutral girl on myself. I love having this in my collection. I love having the options that this palette has. If I'm doing a look for Instagram or YouTube and I need a certain color, this one definitely has it. So I'm not saying this isn't going to come in handy. It's just usage wise, I don't really use these tones a lot. Great for artists. You can't get any better than this. I totally recommend it. If you do love colorful looks and you're looking for that perfect palette, this is the way to go. Not every shadow in this palette is perfect. Just with these types of colors, that's what kind of happens a lot. So some are more powdery, some are a little bit more patchy, but for the most part, each shade in here is very good and it is a really awesome palette. Just doesn't fit my needs and my personal lifestyle, but it definitely does for a lot of other people and you won't be disappointed in that one. Coming in at number 15 is a Petite Row from Busy Art. I personally prefer the edit format. These are the same pan sizes as the edits, but there's only eight. And this one I really like. 
It's very pretty and the colors in here are really nice. I love that it's peach. By the way, I didn't mention this, but this color is a pricotine. I love these tones and that's why this is ranking where it does. But also at the end of the day, I feel like I have a lot of these colors in my other Vizzy Art palette. So it's kind of almost redundant in my collection, but it is super cute and super good. So I do really like this one. Again, a great beginner to Vizzy Art kind of palette. If you love these tones, you'll really like this one. Coming in at 14. Now, this is a newer palette to me. It's one of the most recent ones that I got. So this is probably why it's ranking where it is. This is the Cool Mattes 2. And as you can see, it's all cool tones. This is just ranking where it's at because I don't use these particular shades a lot. I prefer more neutral browns and not necessarily cool. But this is a great piece to have in my collection for when I need these types of colors. So again, this is more of a personal lifestyle choice as to where it goes. Quality is fantastic, just shades wise. Personally, I don't use them a ton, but very happy to have this one in my collection. This is one that really hurts me to put it where it is. This is the Grande Pro Volume 2 because I do feel like in my heart, this is one of my top favorite palettes. But when it comes to use, sometimes this palette can leave me feeling a bit overwhelmed. I do think it's wonderful to have in your collection and I love playing around with the different colors in here. Every time I put a new color on my eye, it really does surprise me how much I love it. But I just think kind of intimidates me so I don't reach for it as often as I wish I would. Now this palette does not contain a single matte so of course you are going to have to pair this with other palettes from their line or any palette of course. They are all different finishes by Rose. So you have a satin, you have some shimmers, you have some glitters, so you have some duochromes. It really is a great palette. But personally, I almost feel like it's too colorful for me. Like this palette and the Grande Pro 3 are a match made in heaven. I just feel like you do have some great neutral shades in here, but I just want more, you know? The majority of these I can't use on an everyday basis. And though it does pair nicely with Grande Pro 1, it doesn't pair as nicely as it does with the Pro 3, which is the colorful one. So I do like this. I just can get intimidated by it sometimes, but it's a really neat palette. This is the Libertine palette, and this is a different type of palette from them. It's their nine pan ones, different packaging. This one is not as artisty style, but I like this palette just because of the different color story in here. You get different finishes as well, which is different from the other palettes from Vizzy Art. I don't know. I really like the quality in here. Some people have, I heard, struggled with the quality in here. I personally have not. I like that I can do a neutral eye, add some warmth, do some blues to mix it up, and purples. I just really like how versatile this palette is with a really nice formula. Really liking that. Ranking and at number 11 is the matte shades on my eyes right now. This is the Warm Mattes palette. This is an all matte one. What I really like about this other than the quality is that while it is still a warm palette, I like that they didn't do a all hot red, yellow, orange palette that's like too, too warm to the point where I won't use it. Up to here, they have a warm undertone to them, but they're not obnoxiously warm, which I really like. And if you want it to be obnoxiously warm, you can layer the these three with these colors. All these shades are shades that I use and I'm not intimidated by, nor do I think they're too warm. So I really like that they kept this palette warm, but not too warm. They're still logical colors that are very reasonable in here. And then of course they blend like butter. So really like that one. Was surprised at how much I liked that one. I hope I'm not talking too much. We're on to number 10. This one you can only get at Alcone and this is the Alcone and Vizzy Art collaboration. I picked this up at a makeup show kind of on a whim and I think why I like this is because it's a 12 pan palette with different textures and finishes in here and you can get a lot of different looks but it is very easy to create looks visually by just the way that it's laid out so I really like that there's purple shades I am wearing this color and this color on my eyelid right now you can get a blue look a green look the way that it's laid out just makes sense to me and it appeals to me I think they chose some very good colors. What I didn't love about this palette was that these are colors that already existed in the Vizzy Art line, but that's my own fault that I own all of their palettes, basically. I really like this palette. It's very visually pleasing to me, and it's just so cute. Number nine is the Neutral Mattes Milieu Palette. This is a pretty new palette from Vizzy Art. I 
really like the colors in here. These colors are a little bit more rich, which I really like. I would say this palette leans a little bit more warm, but it's not too warm. I have a full review on this palette if you want to check it out. I created a really neat look just using this palette and I think that you can do quite a lot with it. It's a different palette to the Viseart line but I really like it. So I actually have another one of this unused. So what I'm going to do is I want to give that one away because these are such a luxury to have. I want somebody to try out this palette because I really do like it. Even though this isn't my number one, it is amazing and I think somebody's going to love it. Here's a little mini giveaway. So what you need to do if you would like to win this palette, make sure you comment down below what your favorite Viseart palette is or if you don't own any of the ones that I showed, which one is the one that you would like to own most and then you have to comment with your Instagram because that is how I contact the winner. So you have to be following me on Instagram at Morgan Turner Makeup and put your Instagram down below and then I will pick a comment and message the winner on Instagram. The giveaway is going to end a week from the date that this is posted and I will add that in the comments once the winner is chosen. So thought I'd give back a little bit for you guys. I love busy art so I can't wait to share the love. All right, so moving on to number eight. I'm surprised at how much I love this but I created one of my favorite looks with this and this is the Petit Pro 5 Soleil. So first of all, it comes in this really bright yellow packaging and you just get some really fun colors. I absolutely love the formula of this. I love the color story in here. It's just so bright and fun and it's very inspiring to me and it's just so cute. It's a great way to add a little bit of color to your collection if you're not too comfortable with color. Every time I use this, I just, I don't know. It's just such a fun palette to me. I love it so much. Definitely recommend this one. It's a fun one. So number seven is the Dark Edit Palette. This by far is my favorite edit palette. It all starts with the packaging. I love purple and then you get such beautiful beautiful deep rich tones in here the first eight are all in that the bottom four are shimmer and something about the formula in this is so good compared to the other two edit palettes i feel like this one has so much more richness in its formulation the shimmer shades are so much more creamy i'm so obsessed with this palette i normally don't reach for colors this rich that often so this isn't my most used in my collection but something about it just makes me happy Happy, and that's what matters. So formula in here is absolutely incredible. If you are looking at the Muse Beauty Pro deals, I would recommend getting this one and the Warm Edit. Those two are really good. They have this palette. To me, it's very unique. There's not a lot of palettes out on the market like this, and the quality is just phenomenal. Moving on to number six. Now this one really stole my heart. It took me forever to pick this up, but once I finally did, I did not regret it for a second. And this is the Liaison palette. And uh, as you can see, it's a purple palette, which is my favorite color story. And again, something about this formulation is just really special. It's even better than the Libertine formula that I talked about previously. And if you love purple, you need to get this palette. It's one of my favorites, one of my favorite formulations. And if you love purple, you are going to love every single look you create with this palette. The shimmers in here, are particularly incredible here and particularly just like stunning Ugh, I die I love this palette so good you need it moving on just kind of looking at the last five I have left a lot of these are more, the more functional palettes for me and I just find myself using them the most so even though I don't feel as excited about them as I do some of the other palettes I use these a ton so number five is the sultry muse and these are my colors now this is an all shimmer palette but this palette never leaves me feeling unsatisfied as far as every day goes these are the colors that i need and for every neutral mood that i have we have this color story this right here is my color story. I think this is, should be one of the first 12 pan palettes that you purchase. Honestly, especially if you love neutrals, you cannot go wrong with the colors in here. They just really add to a collection, I feel like, and the colors in here are incredible. I love this one. This one, I'm embarrassed to show you. It's disgusting looking, but this is the Paris Nudes. Now, 
if I didn't do makeup on others, I don't think this one would rank as high, but because I do bridal makeup, this is my most used one. So that was not the Scream Bridal colors. I love the way this applies on others' skin. It just adheres very well, and the color choices are just wonderful here. Now, like I stated earlier in the video about the bridal satins, how that one, I just felt like I didn't use enough of the colors. This one, I use every single color so much. If you are a bridal makeup artist, you absolutely need this. I don't necessarily know that everybody needs this because all the colors are very similar. There's just a slight tone change in each of them. I think that's why Sultry Muse is a little bit more worth your money because you are getting very different shades, whereas in here they're kind of similar. But for my needs, this is incredible. Definitely one of my most used. Number three should be no surprise. This is what made Viseart, if you ask me. This is the neutral matte. Every color that you need is in here. I recommend this for everybody. If you are a first-time Viseart user and you want to pick two up, neutral mattes and sultry muse are the only two you are going to need. Just incredible colors. I mean, any color that you need is in here, in my opinion, for every day. You have a cream, you have some transition colors, you have a color to warm it up, you have cool tone colors, and you have a black and a deep chocolate brown, which is the most necessary color for me personally. I love a deep chocolate brown. This is one of the most talked about palettes from Viseart, and for a good reason. Number two, this is my first Viseart palette ever, and this is their Theory palette. This is the Minx palette. You get some of the best formulas in this palette. So this right here is the perfect travel palette for myself. You get three shimmers and three mattes. And what's the most amazing thing about this palette, in my opinion, is the formula. This is the kind of formula where when you swatch it, it's going to run down your entire arm. It is just that creamy guys so for me the formulation itself puts it on top the colors are amazing great for every day they're going to be flattering on anybody so the theory number two minx palette it is so good this has been in my collection for so long so not only does this have sentimental value to me but the formula in this is so incredible so time for my number one most favorite palette i use this in my makeup kit and it is right now destroyed so i'm showing you my mom's just so that you're not disgusted by it but this is just the grande pro it's an all matte palette and for me it has every single matte shade that i need as a makeup artist i love it but just for yourself even if you're not a makeup artist i honestly believe that this is still reasonable to have you have every color that you could ever need if you pick this up and one of their all shimmer palettes you're good to go you're all set you have some colors that you can play with that are a little bit more bright. You have every dark tone that you need, every light tone. I cannot get enough of this palette. I reach for it all the time. Personally, I use it all the time in my makeup kit. It's just the best. The formula is the best. And this, to me, is the best value that you can get from Viseart and the best thing that you can pick up. So if you're looking for mattes, something that you're going to use every day, this is my favorite palette, my most used for them. All right, guys. So, finally did it. I have ranked my Viseart palettes from least to most favorite. Had I done this when I was supposed to, it would have been a lot shorter, but in the time that I've been putting it off, I just have been building and building and building my collection. I absolutely hope you guys found it helpful. It was very overwhelming for me to rank all of these palettes. I'm so proud of myself for being able to do it. So, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I really, truly do. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so. I do have other ranking videos on my channel so be sure to check them out and that is all i have for today's video remember to write down your favorite busy art palette and your instagram name to enter the giveaway and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys have a good one